the Mickey Bunch. Today we're doing a pinhole and birthday haul. Um, I have all of my pin mail from the pin trading I've been doing and my birthday gifts, so let's get on into it. First, I'm going to show you these pins I got at the Disney store. Um, these were like a special release for the friends and family. Um, they're a limited edition. Each store only had 20 of each and you were limited on how many you could get of each of them. They were only five on, uh, $5 each, and they're actually pin on pin, and the enamel's really pretty on these pins. I'm gonna next go on to my pin mail. I got an Instagram and I started pin trading online and across the United States, and it's really cool because you basically just post which ones you're willing to trade, and people will DM you and say, hey, I like this pin of yours, uh, here are my traders, and then you just pick. You can always say no thank you if you're not into of them, any of them, but most of the time people have good pins, and uh, yeah, I've gotten some really cool ones. Um, first, I'm going to start off with the ones I have in this dish. This one I actually bought. It was uh, $10. This woman was selling her pins because it's around the holidays and she wanted some money. It's really neat because it's a doorway to Disney pin and it opens up and has the Mad Hatter uh, inside of it. It's just so, so cute. I had never seen this pin before. I have other doorways to Disney, but I was so happy that I got an Alice in Wonderland because that is one of my big traders and collections. I love the Alice in Wonderland pins. Next, I have this uh, Ariel one, and this one I actually traded with a girl I know. I She was showing me her traders, and I was like, oh my goodness, that is so cute, and she gave it to me for free, and I'm super happy with this pin. I know it's not a super exclusive pin, but it's just so pretty, and it's got the um, carousel or whatever it is in the background, and with the world of color, and Ariel, and... Uh, Sebastian. It's just a super cute pin and I love Disneyland. I mainly collect Disneyland rather than Disney World because Disneyland's just, there's something special about Disneyland. And then next I actually traded these two together. There was this girl online and she messaged me and actually now we're friends and text almost every day. But she uh, traded me for this Germany Snow White pin and this Ariel pin. Now I've opened up uh, other collection or other pins from the attractions mystery pin pack and I never got this aerial pin but I was super happy when I got it because now I don't have to buy any more of the mystery pack pin or pin packs and I have all of the ones of that collection I wanted and then this one's super cool because I love this pin of that uh, the uh, Epcot trading pins but I don't really want to pay the $60 to get the whole pack so it's awesome that I was able to trade for this pin for this Maleficent pin. This is a little Hollywood Studios Maleficent pin. I actually don't know all that much about this pin. I just saw it in one of the girls' uh, traders and thought it was super neat. And I actually owed my brother a Maleficent pin. And so I gave him this one instead. And it's just such a cool pin. It's really... I traded for this Disneyland Paris uh, mini on a bow. I was super excited about this one because this woman uh, uh, DM'd me and was like, hey, I like this villain pin, pin of yours, here are my traders. And I saw that one and I was like, oh my goodness, that's so cute. And then I got it and I noticed it was a Disneyland Paris pin. And that's super cool because I don't actually have any others that are um, worldwide. I only have ones that are international. So, or not international, but uh, from the United States, I don't have any international pins. So I was super excited about this one and I'm actually uh, getting some for Christmas that kind of match that. So I'll be starting a trend. Next one I traded for was this Haunted Mansion uh, Daisy Duck, the bride pin. This one's super neat. It's actually a Disneyland annual pass holder pin. And I was super excited because I am kind of obsessed with the Haunted Mansion Bride. And this is just a kind of unique pin that I had not really seen, but I was super excited to trade for. I, I love this pin. 
for this Jafar pin, and this was actually the first pin I ever traded online or on Instagram. I kind of didn't really know what I was doing, but I am actually really happy with this pin. I just kind of chose one, and I had actually chosen a Hades pin, but then he lost it, so he offered me this one, and I was like, oh, awesome. I didn't even realize, like, there was the rest of the pin. I just saw this bit. And so I'm actually super happy with this pin and it's super, super cool. And Aladdin is just an awesome movie. I bought these two pins on Instagram from a lady and she actually sold them to me for $10 each. It was like, hey, she was having a special deal. And they are limited edition pins. This one's a limited edition of 2000. And I think so is this, oh, this one's a limit, the Mother's Day one is a limited edition of 4,000. I am, uh, another collection I have is the Rapunzel pins. And I was super happy because a lot of times people will put like $45 on a pin and it's like, um, no thank you. But $10 is actually reasonable and I feel like that's a fair trade. And I, 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 I really wanted these pins and I'm super happy that I was able to get them a lady named Nikki on Instagram for this pin and it was kind of cool because this is a limited edition pin for the 30th anniversary of the Disney store and it's a Giselle pin so the enchanted pins are really hard to come by and I um, direct messaged her and I was like hey I really like that pin and although I didn't have any limited editions to trade she just offered to trade me for two of my mystery pin packs if in exchange for this so although I didn't have one pin of the same value it's kind of cool that on Instagram they'll trade you you know multiples for a more valuable pin and I was super happy I was able to get this one uh, Enchanted is one of my favorite movies it came out when I was like eight and it's just super cute I love Enchanted these are the last in our little snowman bowl. I traded this one and this one from a lady on Instagram too. And this one's kind of neat, although I know it's just a starter pack pin. I, it's kind of one of those things like I don't really want to pay $30 for four pins because, you know, I don't really want all four pins. So it was nice that I was able to just trade one of my pins for this Rapunzel pin that I really wanted. And then the little, uh, oh my goodness, what is her name? Figaro. Uh, um, Minnie's cat. It's just so cute. I'm going to stick her with my mini collection. And these are two little cute pins that I'm super excited to put into my collection. Next, I'm going into this little thing. This is actually stuff I won from a giveaway on Instagram. It's super cool because there's all kinds of different giveaways on Instagram and they're actually real. And most of the time they just ask you to like, hey, repost this or hey, like this picture and comment your favorite movie or, you know, hey, follow me and comment to what whatever they're asking. And this time I won um, a little California Adventure starter pack. And this was entirely free. I didn't have to pay shipping or anything. It, I, I mean, it's super cool. I didn't kind of believe it at first. Someone had told me, hey, you should start uh, pin trading Instagram. There's all kinds of giveaways and you can trade people. And I never knew how much fun it would be. And actually, it's not a total scam. People aren't gonna give you fake pins. They're not gonna steal from you. And there's actually all kinds of things that have like reported people that like, hey, these people are scammers. So if there are a couple out there, hey, you know, but I have not had any problems. I've gotten my pins right when I ask for them or when I'm expecting. It's super cool. Next, I got this Fantasia Disneyland, uh, Disney Store 30th anniversary pin. It actually reminds me of Alice in Wonderland more than Fantasia. So I'm sticking it in my Alice in Wonderland pin, even if it's Fantasia pin, because it reminds me of the little flamingos they play croquet with. And I think it's super cute. Lastly, I got this rabbit pin, and this is a cool pin, and it says it's from Disneyland Paris, and he's got this kind of like metallic-y color. It's, although it shows up a little bit green, it's not. It's just because it, he's kind of like, I don't even know how to de describe it, but he kind of shines, and rabbit is one of my favorites, although I've said I've liked like 10 favorites. I collect a lot of things, a lot of things. 
And I also got these Tsum Tsum little tapes. I'll probably actually just give these to my nephew, but they're super cute and he'll have so much fun with these little Tsum Tsums. He loves Tsum Tsums and thought these were so, so cool when I opened them up and I think he'll have lots of fun with these. Sometimes when people just start an Instagram uh, pin trading or when they have had it for a long time, they'll give you a zap and a zap is just an extra pin or something extra additional to what you traded them for and it's super cool. Now the same woman who I traded this uh, Ariel pin and the Snow White pin for, she gave me a kind of special zap. And this wasn't an extra pin, but it was actually something way cooler that I did not expect at all. She gave me a bunch of really cool Tsum Tsums. And these are the little, little like toy Tsum Tsums. And this one's like Pluto and he has a little house. And then there's a little Bambi with a little like butterfly over him. And then there's Alice with um, the little drink me thing with the little cork topper. There's Jeannie who's on top of this, uh, Donald Duck. And then also, this one's kind of one of my favorites of this thing, the White Rabbit. And this is super cool and I was totally not expecting this. I literally like shrieked when I opened this. I was like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Oh, this also has a little butterfly. But it was super cool and I wasn't expecting it whatsoever. And these are just super cute and I, I, I was so happy. My last thing, I'm going to be unboxing what I got from my mom for my birthday. And everything in here is Disney and I what didn't re hadn't really seen anything that I got for my birthday. So I was super psyched when I did open my stuff. Okay, first I got this Cinderella a picture frame with the little snow globe and with her castle in it. This is super cute. I actually have the Rapunzel one that's a little bigger, but I had actually never seen this one before. Maybe I just passed by it. And we are Disneyland annual pass holders and we go all of the time, but it was kind of crazy that I had never seen this before and it's super cute. And I love, 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 love the Disney princesses. So. This was super special to get, and I'm going to put a picture of me in my room with this thing. I love myself. <laughs> Next, I opened up an ornament, and this was a uh, Lady and the Tramp, the, oh my, the Siamese cats. And here, they're about to eat that little fish, and the fish looks terrified, and it's kind of hilarious, because they're like, yummy, we're about to eat this guy. And it's kind of funny, I like this. They're like totally evil and it's funny. And it's kind of a unique thing to have on a Christmas tree. You don't really see the Siamese cats on an ornament very often. So I was kind of happy about this, actually really happy. Next, I opened up a Disney pin and I had actually never seen this one. Again, never seeing this stuff, yeah. Um, but this one is actually the uh, Pin, Pin Trader Tales, the 2017 collection. But unlike the Nemo and the Dory and the Alice, this one was the Hatbox Ghost. I mean, how cool is this? And then there's this little head in the Hatbox. Super, 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 super cool. Like, I haven't seen anybody trading this one online at all. And a lot of the Pin Trading Tales ones are being traded online. But not this one, not this one. This one is just super, super, super cool. I'm super happy that my mom gave me this pin. Okay, next I opened up this uh, Emperor's New Groove shirt. And this has Cusco on it. And he is saying, no touchy. This is funny because that is me. Uh, everything is no touchy, no touchy, don't touch me, don't touch my stuff, it's mine, me, no touching. I, and no touching. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of hilarious. And I didn't actually know they sold Emperor's New Group shirts. Again, I didn't know. Um, uh, but this is super cool and I am definitely going to be wearing this a lot. The last thing we're opening up for today and that I got for my birthday was this Alice in Wonderland shirt. This is a super cute animators collection shirt with Alice in Wonderland and little pudgy cheeks and all of the like daffodils and the dandelions and the roses and her little cat. 
um, from the movie, and it's super cute. It's got a really cute cut. It's kind of got like uh, this, and then the back of it is super cute, and it's got, it's actually sheer, and it's a super, super cute. It's kind of wavy on the body, and it's super cute. I love this shirt. So my 19th birthday, yes, I'm 19. I'm not 12, just in case you're wondering, 19. Uh, it was super, super fun, and I got all kinds of super cool stuff, and I had, had lots of my friends and family around me, and it was great, and I got lots of pin trading, so I'm super happy and ready to get on into the holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you for watching the Mickey Bunch. Uh, soon we'll be having a, uh, another pin unboxing, but thank you. Please like, subscribe, and uh, have a great day.